So, uh, what about what about your kids? How old were they when you got into the industry? They were a little bit younger. Um, my oldest was, I want to say, fourteen at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, his friends actually knew, and mm -hmm. I think that he kind of knew, but he didn't. He kept saying it wasn't my mom, and then I was just honest with them, and you know they've done pretty well mm -hmm. now that we've talked about it i feel like you should definitely do that if you have kids talk yeah. about it so they know how to react towards kids because again if you give energy to something it you know if they see that it, that affects them and they want to pick on them then it gets the problem gets bigger right so now that they don't you know they know and they know how to handle it they don't talk about it with their friends their friends you know don't ask now they don't know i mean people back home obviously do but now that they're here and in school and stuff nobody knows mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that you know yeah um was that a hard conversation kind of my youngest are girls and they didn't really understand mm -hmm. they were yeah until they probably got a little like three years down the road i'd say mm -hmm. how they, old were they at the time shoot my youngest was maybe six yeah five or six because it's yeah. like one of those things i've had this conversation with so many other who are parents like mm -hmm. the age appropriate mm -hmm. way to tell your kids mm -hmm. you know how do you tell them right um obviously when they're very young they don't know what adult entertainment is right um i mean you probably know that my parents were no I when don't. i was growing yeah so mm -hmm. i grew up like so this is something i have experience oh, with okay. my my mom and my dad and that picture frame right next to you Aww. um yeah they were uh my mom was one of like the first female Wow. So she worked for Playboy, Hustler, Penthouse, like all that stuff. Super cool. So, and my dad helped her run the business. So my That's parents awesome. were in where I was even born. I'm the oldest. Wow. So, you know, I always get that question, like, what was it like to grow yeah. up, you know, with parents who were in And, you know, it was, for me, it was, it didn't bother me at all. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously, here I am. Right. <laughs> here I am now. Right. Um, but, you know, because that wasn't something that, as a kid, I didn't really understand what it was. And right. I remember, I think, the first way that my parents explained to it was they said, Mommy and Daddy make movies mm -hmm. and take pictures for grown-ups. Yeah. And you're not a grown-up. And that was, like, the extent of all I knew. And, um, you know, the back office was off limits to me. And mm -hmm. I didn't really question it that much. And then eventually, yeah. like, I figured it out. But I don't remember, like, this moment of being like, oh, this is what it is. Yeah. It just kind of – I don't know. It's it's like normalcy is relative, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how I feel too. Yeah. Just, like I had a very normal childhood. Yeah. My parents yeah. were wonderful to me. They were there for me. They mm -hmm. were present. They loved me. They supported mm -hmm. me. Um, they encouraged me. They, you know, like put me in extracurricular activities mm -hmm. and like I did cotillion, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, so, you know, it wasn't like a big thing for me. And I definitely like, you know, had those issues at school where kids made fun of me or yeah. they knew about it, but it didn't affect me like in a, in a big way. Yeah. And I've talked to other people who've had similar experiences, but their parents hid it from them and lied to them for a very long time. And yeah. then they found out in a really like traumatizing way. And that that's was what I was afraid of. Damaging. Yeah. 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 I'm sure it could be. Yeah. It's, it's a like hard you're lying, you know, you've been lying to me this whole time. Like, who are you? <laughs> you but know? it's hard. Right? It's such a hard conversation to have. Yeah. Because you're not doing anything illegal. No. Nope. Right. And you're making good money and you're mm -hmm. providing for your family and you're being safe, mm -hmm. um, but there's such a stigma around it, yeah. it's, and it's you know a profession that's not appropriate for children. So how do you explain to your children that it's right. something that you do? It is it is tricky. Definitely, yeah. What advice would you give to other parents who are like maybe in a similar situation now and don't know how to tell their kids or when to mm -hmm. tell their kids? I mean, it's definitely. It, Timing is probably everything. Like I said, if, if he hadn't told him, I don't even know how I would have told him. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely should do like a one-on-one -on -one talk at some point. So yeah, even if you're just like, you don't tell him you're having sex, like you're acting in, you know, adult movies that, mm -hmm. you know, you know, something to let him, it's hard. Do you it's wish hard. that there was some kind of like literacy or like knowledge, foundation of knowledge out there that, parents like you could access to figure out how to have this conversation that would with be their cool. kids because there really isn't there isn't any and, then, and like you said so many people like judge you for it and mm -hmm. put it out there such a bad thing that they don't know They're yeah like wait what you know yeah 
what I've found interesting since the, you know, since the internet and, Mm -hmm. you know, how it's taken over everything and Mm -hmm. all the kids are on it and kids accessing, you know, um, adult content when they're underage, there's been some like porn literacy uh, organizations that have popped up. And there was one woman that I interviewed in particular called Justine Angfonte, and she actually does porn literacy for kids. And when I say kids, I mean like high school age. Okay. Um, and it was really interesting because obviously she's not like showing them porn, like she's right. not engaging in anything like illegal. Like she does this at schools um, if the parents give permission for her to do so. But she, you know, teaches kind of kids, I think, about the context of adult con- adult entertainment Mm -hmm. um in a way that is appropriate to them and that they like kind of understand at their age and it's such like a tricky such tricky waters to navigate Mm -hmm. and i'm I'm always admiring people who are like trying to find a solution to talking to kids about this kind of stuff rather than just pretending it doesn't exist or just wanting to have the entire porn industry shut down because that's just like not happening yeah worst case scenario it's getting bigger you know pushed underground (laughs) And like then it's pushed illegal. underground, but yeah. bigger. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. Kind of crazy. Yeah. So it's like trying to address, you know, the issue like in a responsible way, and it's like, yeah, it's a tough, controversial. It topic. Definitely is. Yeah, for 